वेलकम टू यू पी एस सी आंसर की एनालिसिस फॉर प्रिलिम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एज यू माइट हैव बीन नोइंग दैट यू पी एस सी प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामिनेशन सिलेबस क्लियरली मैंशंस दैट द करेंट इवेंट्स ऑफ नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल इम्पोर्टेंस विल बी आस्ड सो करेंट अफेयर्स बिकम्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट फॉर आर यू पी एस सी जर्नी क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी नाइन इज वन सच क्वेश्चन ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द करेंट अफेयर्स Now let us go through the question. It talks about the stability and growth pact of the European Union. So first of all, we would look into the context of the question. The stability and growth pact of the EU was in news, especially during the COVID nineteen pandemic, when the European Commission activated an escape clause. of this pact in order to ensure that the states can exceed their normal deficit and debt limits in order to cope with the exigencies of the covid-19 pandemic now let us look at exactly what is the stability and growth pact the stability and growth pact is a set of rules designated to ensure that the countries in the european union can pursue sound public finances as well as coordinate their fiscal policies so basically it is about the economic aspect now let us look at the question again it states that the stability and growth pact of the eu has the following aspects first of all the first uh, statement mentions that it limits the level of budgetary deficit of the countries secondly this is the correct statement as we have seen in the previous explanation secondly it makes the countries of the eu to share their infrastructural facilities now as we have seen it has no mention about the infrastructural aspects it just mentions about the fiscal policy so this statement becomes incorrect coming to the sta third statement it states it enables the countries of the eu to share their technologies again there is no mention about the technological aspect in the pact so third statement also becomes incorrect so coming to the answer of this question only one statement is correct hence the answer to this question becomes a thank you